while the VR is dead and this is the year of VR camps may seem daunting at times, 2020 is truly going to be an exciting year for virtual reality. When Valve announced the release of their VR game Half-Life Alex, even VR Cynics started to take the virtual reality hype more seriously. After all, selling out every Valve Index VR headset across the globe sends out a pretty serious statement. But convincing the average consumer your product is not merely a gimmick is one thing. Delivering on the promises that built the VR market over the years is another thing entirely. Though CES in 2020 received some online criticism for quote, lack of innovation both in VR and tech in general, there were still notable presentations in VR that left our imagination run wild and speculate about the endless possibilities the virtual world has to offer us. B Haptics presented a full body haptic suit that lets you experience the physical interface between the virtual world and your skin. The combination of various haptic patterns using 70 individually controllable haptic points mimics real touch that lets you feel a snake swirling around your body for example, or shocks from gunshots and virtual hugs you share with your playmates. It is worthy to point out however that B Haptics and most other companies like it use vibration motors to mimic the sense of touch. But there is another company named Tesla Suit that uses electro simulation to produce the sense of touch in VR. Tesla Suit is a full body wearable computer interface. Which means the haptic suit sends out pulses of electricity to simulate your muscles, which is possibly the most immersive way to experience the sense of touch in virtual reality. At the end of 2019, Tesla Suit also introduced its brand new VR gloves, which will hit the market in the second half of 2020, enhancing the touch effect and integrating haptics, motion capture, biometry and force feedback with the haptic suit, and quite possibly become the first company to produce an advanced full body haptic suit, the likes we've seen in the movie Ready Player One. Besides hardware improvements and innovation in VR accessories and headsets, software and app development in virtual reality is going to be awesome in 2020. We've already seen the fascinating experience Google Earth VR has to offer, and it's only expected to improve in 2020 and in the years to come. Game development will also complement the innovation of VR hardware, with games like Lone Echo 2, an adventure game developed by Ready at Dawn and published by Oculus Studios. You are the only person who calls me Jack. The plot is set aboard a space station orbiting Saturn. It allows you to move in zero gravity by grabbing and pushing off of the environment. Marvel's Iron Man VR is another entertaining VR shooter developed by American studio Camouflage and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. Obviously, it's based on the Marvel Comics superhero Iron Man and the game is exclusive to Sony's PlayStation VR headset. Of course, the most anticipated VR game of 2020 is Half-Life Alex, a first-person shooter developed and published by Valve Players use VR to interact with the environment and fight enemies using gravity gloves. Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? Then show your support by liking, subscribing, and ringing the bell to never miss videos like this.